We master DS here, and I am going to show you how to get the Little Rocket Man achievement in Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Now to get this achievement, you need to bring a garden gnome which you find at the beginning of the game to the rocket at the end of the game and launch it into space. In most cases it means carrying it with you wherever you go. In this video I will show you parts of the game where it is most difficult to do this and hints to help you to get past them. Now the garden gnome is found here in the radio shack that Alex uses to contact White Forest. You'll find it to the left of the shack, right underneath the shelf, right here. This is the name you need to take with you to the end of the game. Okay. Now we are coming up to a place where you can put the gnome down and come back to it at a later time. It's right down here, past the trains, right next to the gate. You can put the gnome down there and pick it back up once you've opened the gate and seen Alex get attacked by the hunter. From now on, I'll refer to these places as, as gnome checkpoints, just to make it easier for the video. Condition is okay, once you've seen Alex get attacked by the hunter and the Vorty Gaunt has freed you, like that, go over to the gate and the gnome should still be there. From here on, until you get to the mines, you just have to take the gnome with you wherever you go. Let me summon my... Right, there is a gnome checkpoint coming up right here. When you get to this point of the game where you have to help Griggs and Sheckley defend the Vortigaunt from the Antlions, you can put the gnome right down here, right in this corner where the ammo supplies are, and you won't need to worry about the gnome until you get back here later in the game. Once you've finally got through the mines with the Vortigaunt and he has got the extract, the gnome should still be in the corner where you left it. See, it's still right there. Okay, another small gnome checkpoint coming up here. Right, you can leave the gnome in this corner here while you battle the Antlion Guardians. Once you've defeated them, the gnome should still be there. Once you've defeated the Antlion Guardians and picked up the gnome, you can put the gnome in front of the gate here while you go and bring the lift down. To where the vehicle waits. Okay, once you've got the lift to the ground, you can either get out of the lift and go to the gnome and pick it up, or you can pull it towards you like I do here. Thanks, Gordon. Okay, this next part is tricky, so I suggest saving your game first. What you need to do is try to shoot the gnome across to that part of the bridge there. You'll be going back to that part later in the game. Okay, once you get to the bridge, you'll need to drive the car across first before you can get to the gnome. see my poor driving skills. Okay, once you get the car across, get out of the car and have a look around for the gnome. It should be somewhere nearby, because this is where you threw the gnome earlier on. See, the gnome's right there for me. Okay, coming up now is a part which a lot of people have trouble with. You need to drive the car through mostly the rest of the game, but you can't carry the gnome in the car. So what I tend to do is I lodge the gnome in the roof. As you can see, it's quite tricky to lodge it in there, but if you keep at it, it will eventually stick. If done properly, it will get stuck in there and it won't move unless you crash into something or you do a jump. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest. But see, once again, this failed attempt, it dropped right through the roof. I can't tell you how great that's what happens sometimes. It either whizzes out the roof or it goes through the car itself. See, that all, that's what it will look like when it's um, stuck in there. It won't move, and it shouldn't fall through either. As you can see, it doesn't move at, at all when I'm driving backwards and forwards. Stay safe. Likewise, and farewell. It has been an honor. Right, as you can see, the gnome fell out when I um, went through that tunnel. 
that does sometimes happen. So what you have to do is make sure that you get, come out back out of the car and get, go for back for the gnome, and then put it back in the car. So again, you can see I have trouble with putting it in the car properly. Right, while you're driving, it's a good idea to keep an eye on the gnome while you're driving. Just make sure it doesn't slip out the back. From this point on, any places where you need to get out of the car, like here, where you need to open the gate and battle the hunters. You can leave the gnome in the car, it shouldn't move. Okay, once you've battled the hunters and Alex has opened the gate, you should go back to the car and the gnome should still be in the roof where you left it. See, it's still right there. Okay, I've skipped ahead here to the part where you have just seen the advisor. For some reason, when the gate opened, the car moved back, but the gnome didn't. You need to pick up the gnome and put it back in the roof of the car quickly before the helicopter arrives, as it will shoot you. Well, this driving part is quite tricky because there are a lot of bumps in the road and um, objects in the way, which could cause the gnome to fall out. Slow, slow down and look at the gnome to make sure it doesn't fall out the back just like that. If it does, then just put it back in. But you have to be quick because the uh, helicopter will shoot you otherwise. That time I got lucky, it seemed to have missed. What I did there is I reversed a bit so that the gnome could get further in the car. Stop it from falling out. I don't go too fast otherwise the gnome might fall out, so... Keep it steady and try and avoid all the obstacles in the way. If you have to crash through something, then go through them slowly, but keep an eye on the gnome while you do it to make sure they don't fall out. If you do have to get out of the car to pick up the gnome, then make sure that you do it when the helicopter isn't shooting you. For some reason, when you're in the car, the helicopter does shoot, but it doesn't hurt you as much as if you were outside the car, so... Wait until it stops shooting you, and then go back in the car. Right, the gnome fell out slightly there, so... I'm going to put it back in. At this point I was lucky because I was in the tunnel and the helicopter didn't seem to uh, be able to see me, so 